this video is AI generated. So I just reviewed Sora. This was like a week and a half ago. It was OpenAI's video generation model, and it was really impressive. Uh, was until Google showed up. So they've just unveiled their latest and greatest, probably inspired by Sora just getting announced. But the scary thing is it's already noticeably better than Sora. See, Sora would struggle with some predictable things I talked about in my video, things like physics and moving objects. And Vio already seems to be significantly better at that stuff specifically. So Sora would often have dead giveaways just in the movement of things or in the physics of things moving around in a frame. And Vio would tackle the same prompt and make a much more convincing, at least physical version of that movement. And so with these starting to show up, a lot of people are reacting like, oh, you know, well, these are just the best hand-picked versions that Google is showing us. Maybe it's not that much better, but I've had access to VO2 for a couple of days now, and I've been doing a lot of prompting and a lot of back-to-back -back testing with Sora. And yeah, it's, it's better than Sora. Now, it's certainly not perfect. There are definitely still dead giveaways in there of AI-generated video, especially with garbled text. That still happens a lot. Also, when you try to do a whole bunch of things in one scene or really, really complicated physics things, then it can still sort of break down. And also this version that I'm testing doesn't have nearly as many controls as Sora. It feels like they rushed it out to match the OpenAI announcement, but there's no resolution controls or picking the length of the video, for example. But to me, this really feels like the difference between using a little bit of YouTube data that they're getting away with versus owning YouTube and just just using all of it. YouTube just added that button, I think it's in labs, where creators can opt out of third-party scraping of videos for AI training, but that's just third-party stuff. That doesn't say anything about Google not being able to use it. But yeah, it's clear that things are already evolving very quickly in the video generation space, which as a video creator, are, are we cooked? Because Someone let me know if we should be worried about this. So OpenAI just came out with Sora 2 and some of the videos that you can make with it are kind of crazy. So not only can you create videos with just text, but you can select other people on the platform that gave their permission. I'm just gonna click myself. And I'm gonna say, I want myself doing an on-field interview after winning the Super Bowl. And when I hit send, this is the video generated. I feel like a meatball in a snow globe right now. How's it feel to finally be champions? Feels like I should have stretched more. My hamstrings are right in an angry letter to HR, but hey, a trophy makes a great ice pack, right? But you can also put yourself in movie, TV show, and video game scenes that you normally wouldn't be a part of. So I'm gonna say I want to be in an epic Pokemon battle versus Pikachu. Buddy, let's see what you got. Pika! Coming in! Pikachu! But I'm worried about people using it to get other people in trouble. For instance, here's body cam footage of someone's German Shepherd getting pulled over. And with just a simple prompt, I can make myself rob a bank. Easy. Slide everything in 10s and 20s, no die packs. Right through the gap, please. Sir, just, just money. No one gets hurt. That's the plan. Keep them coming. Here. More 20s. Good, last bundle. Then we're That's done. Everything in the Zipping drawer. up. OpenAI says this new AI video tool, Sora, has all these rules to block inappropriate content. So let's test them out. In under a minute, just by typing, I was able to create body cam footage of a man being arrested in a department store. Also, I could make a chain coffee shop worker yelling at a customer. Sora lets you do cameos of real people if they allow it, so I was able to put OpenAI Chief Sam Altman in a World War II Axis uniform. Here's a video I made of Sam leading an ice raid. Again, none of this was blocked. There's a woman on the app who made her cameo available for anybody to make videos, so I was able to make one of her storming the Capitol. And people have been making fake historical footage. Here's a clip someone made of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. bobbling his words. You have your, you, you could, you'll do, you, you'll do, you could. You and here's another one of JFK saying something you never said. How much money your country owes you. And here's a remix of an Austrian leader during World War II. Also, there's plenty of copyrighted material, which I'm sure the companies are not very happy about. Here's SpongeBob SquarePants fleeing a police stop. And here are a bunch of Pokemon running through a field with Sam Altman. I hope Nintendo doesn't sue us. I had some more examples of this in a video I did yesterday on the implications of this technology. What's wild is this app has been out for barely a day. What's it going to look like in a year? All right, so there's a lot of hype around Sora 2, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. No BS, just my real take on it. Also, I'm dropping my last invite codes in the comments a little later on today, so check my story for the exact time that I'll drop the code. And if you grab one, just pay it forward. After you use a couple of your invites, drop the last ones in the comments so somebody else can try it out. All right, but here's what I really think about it. See, the tech behind it is actually really impressive. The speed and the accuracy of the lip syncing that it generated for me is probably the best that I've seen. And I've tested it out a lot. Here, check it out. <laughs> Why? Why did it have to be you? Be all three, you were the best of us. You gave us so many beautiful generations. Too powerful, too brilliant for this world. Rest in peace, sweet algorithm. Rest in 
See, to me, that's pretty impressive, but is it blowing every other model away in all the other categories? No, not in my opinion. It's on par or a little better with the top models right now. The movements, realism, sound effects, they're all great, but here's the real win. This release is going to push the entire industry forward. Faster models, cheaper access, more competition, and that's what matters for creators on a budget like you and me. But here's my issue with it. It's still basically a glorified demo. It's fun, but very limited. They put it behind the closed doors of the Sora app and we can't really control it yet. The real test will come when they open it up with the Sora scene builder or we get access to the API. But right now it's a viral showcase, not a practical tool. So yeah, this is actually gonna be my last post feeding into the Sora hype train until they actually open it up on a real platform. But until then, I'll be here testing AI video tools and workflow so that you know exactly what's worth your time. And go ahead and follow if you're serious about leveling up your AI video skills. OpenAI employees are making fake videos of people doing crimes to promote their new AI video tool, Sora, and they seem really excited, even though they're not really reckoning with the implications of all of this, and it gets worse. Sora is also a social network. You have a profile and you can type in text to make new AI videos of real people, which you can then share in a feed with others. And there's also an opt-in feature for cameos where you can put real people into videos. One of them is this popular tech YouTuber, I Justine. She shared a video of herself raging out in an airport and said her cameo is open to anyone, so don't abuse it. Yeah, I put some basic policies against violence and explicit themes. They even make you check a box. But this is the internet and it's really easy for people to find workarounds. I got an invite last night and went on to iJustine's profile. There's a cameos tab that shows all the videos other people have made. And one of the first videos I saw was from this account Justine Lover and it showed her being splattered over and over with white goo. I asked Sora to make a video of iJustine leaving a Utah college campus, holding a large bag in a rush, looking like she's fleeing from something as seen via surveillance camera. And it made there. this. I'm a Washington Post reporter. In 2018, I interviewed women whose faces had been put into AI deep fakes. The videos were pretty crude at the time, but they were still fairly realistic. And the worst people in the world were charging money, taking requests from strangers on which women they wanted to see in these kinds of scenes. The women I talked to were horrified. They were mortified by this, but there's basically nothing they could do. And now we have one of the biggest AI firms in the world making this kind of technology available to anyone and the videos take less time, they look more realistic, and they're free. I don't think we as a society are prepared for just how bad this will get.